Hi, I'm Brian May, and this is the first video edition of Star Licks. So I'm going to be playing you some of my licks in the next few minutes. But first of, first of all, <clears throat> I'd like to take a look at the equipment and show you where the various noises come from. question that whenever we're talking about the greatest guitar players of all time, Brian May is absolutely near the top. Actually, Sir Brian May. If you've ever listened to Queen, you know why. His sound and his phrasing and, and everything about his playing is so uniquely him that as soon as you hear a single phrase played by Brian May, you instantly know who it is. Now, recently I was thinking about my favorite Brian May solo of all time. It's not Bohemian Rhapsody, actually. Amazing song, amazing performance, but I don't think that is Brian May's best solo. So today's video, I'm gonna show you what I think is the best Brian May solo ever put to tape, as well as a few others that I think are excellent. If you're new here though, please subscribe. It helps the channel out. And uh, also check out my video courses. We have a sale running right now on the Fretboard Fundamentals lead guitar course, which is gonna help you when it comes to playing solos, writing your own solos and understanding the fretboard in and out. Check that out in the description box below. so much. <laughs> it's one of my favorite bands. Somebody to Love, an amazing Brian May solo. And I think it's important to talk about this one because it points out a few key parts of his playing that make him so great, such a legend. First of all, his solos almost stand alone as their own compositions. Like there's complete phrases and complete ideas. So for instance, that like opening phrase where he goes. <laughs> That's a full idea. That's a beginning, a middle, and an end. There's repetition and variation, there's conflict and resolution, just in that basic sort of major pentatonic lick. I mean, he's literally just taking your standard pentatonic sort of sound that we've all played a billion times, but he's crafting something melodic and something memorable out of it. And then you go to the second part of the solo and we get sort of the other side of Brian May, which is this ability to craft lines that are reminiscent of like classical violin pieces almost. <laughs> so unique. That's so Brian May. And that's what I meant earlier when I said that as soon as you start to hear him play, you immediately know who it is. And part of that is his tone, you know, the red special guitar going into an AC30 with a treble booster. Uh, I'm going into an AC30 with a treble booster, but I don't have a red special. So this is about as close as I'm going to get today. And then playing with the six pence piece, but it's not just the sound that's coming out of his amplifier that is a Brian May. It's the phrasing and it's the touch and the way he just crafts these solos. I absolutely love it. But as great as the solo is, it's not the best Brian May solo in my opinion.
you can't talk about great Brian May solos without talking about Killer Queen. I mean, the solo is more of like just a straight up composition on guitar rather than a solo. And it really sort of blooms at the second half of the solo when the guitar harmonies, the guitar harmonies come in. But it shows Brian's genius as a writer because the solo goes somewhere. It's not just some major or minor pentatonic licks. There's actually motion. There's, there's a dynamic. There's a beginning, middle, and end. And it's beautiful. And I love how he starts off with this. That's such a cool line. We've established an idea and then he's gonna make a variation. He's gonna modify that idea. And then we end on the one going into the second half of the solo. It's like this big sort of movement. And then going into the It's just so well thought out and well executed. He made a solo that you can sing. It fits in with what Freddie Mercury is doing on vocals and sort of the melody and the idea of the song, you know, Killer Queen. And then all that builds to the second half. And rather than playing something really complicated or faster or, or shreddy, he just overdubs two or three other guitar parts that intertwine so nicely with his melody. <laughs> That's the type of playing that comes from a brilliant mind. And if you know about Brian May, you, you also know he's a PhD in astrophysics, which is amazing. Um, it, uh, part of why I love him so much. He's a guitar nerd and a space nerd, which really resonates with me. But yeah, Killer Queen, I think, is one of the best guitar solos ever, actually. I think if you were making a list of greatest guitar solos of all time, I think you'd have to put this one somewhere on there. But I still don't think this is Brian May's best solo. Instead, I think it's this. Brian May solo. First of all, this is one of the best just guitar songs ever. I mean, the riff is so perfect. The... It's it's so just, ugh, it hits so hard, man. This whole song, this is my favorite Queen song, my favorite Brian May solo, one of my favorite guitar riffs of all time, one of my favorite guitar solos of all time, because to me, it's like, it's the quintessential guitar solo. You know what I mean? Like listen, listen to how he just opens it with this huge, it's just. And then going to the E there, dude, oh, it's so good. In fact, until I started making this video, I actually didn't realize that this first lick wasn't played on slide. If you listen to the record, it, it always sounded to me like he was playing slide. Like, listen to that in the context of the mix. It sounds like a slide. <laughs> When I was actually watching that Starlix video on Brian May's channel, which by the way, I'll have linked down below. You should go subscribe to him on YouTube because Sir Brian May is on YouTube. I didn't realize that he was actually fretting that. He's doing it like this. What a cool move. So he's pulling off and then bending up to that same note with his first finger. And then this phrase, the way he gets down to the that descending line shows what great feel 
Brian May has. His, his sense of time feel and his rhythm and his pocket playing is so, so good. I made a video a few weeks ago about this, like the importance of playing with good time feel and good rhythm, and Brian May is one of the best rhythm guitar players ever. And you can't be a great lead guitar player without being a great rhythm guitar player. The two things go hand in hand, and Brian May is a perfect example of that. And then the incorporation of the slide for the second half of the solo. Total power move. It's like combining all of the great things of guitar playing of that era, when the song came out in 1976. It's like all of the great sort of guitar moves that were happening around that time, he kind of fit into one solo. <laughs> Dwayne Allman in there with and going to the E to turn the solo around. I absolutely love it. I think this is the best Brian May solo. It's it showcases everything that's great about his playing in one solo. His time feel, his tone, his note choice and phrasing, his rhythm, and his sense of orchestration is here too. It doesn't have the same sort of classical violin or viola kind of moments or flourishes that his other solos have, but it's definitely orchestrated. You can tell that there was thought put into this solo and it fits the vibe of the song so well. He's one of those guitar players that knows exactly what to play for the song. He serves the song. And it's something that I think all great guitar players have. No matter if we're talking about the guitar heroes of yesterday or the heroes of today, great musicians, great guitar players know how to serve the song, both in their rhythm playing and their parts choice, but also in their solos. And I can't think of very many other players that do that as well or better than Brian May. So that's the best Brian May solo, in my opinion. Now, I'd love to hear what you think. Obviously, there's gonna be some people that disagree, so let me know in the comments section down below. If you're new here, please subscribe. It really does help the channel out and click the bell to be notified when I'm posting new videos. And don't forget, you can get a discount on the Fretboard Fundamentals Lead Guitar Course via the link in the description box down below. My name is Retschall. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.